What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Aiden and today we're gonna go through how Travis Scott's franchise was made on FL Studio. First off, obviously, if we're gonna remake franchise, you have to be wearing a white tee. And if you're asking why, then clearly you haven't heard this song before. Since this is a sponsored video, I will be making this FLP available to everybody. Let's start off on a really strong note. We have the identical kick. How do you know it's identical? Well, you can compare the waveforms and see for yourself. This is the MZ on God kick, and you can see that this kick is identical by comparing it to the original song. Check out these waveforms, it matches perfectly. This kick absolutely spanks. And we're going into the effects target and turning up the boost just a tiny little bit and turning on clip. Then we're routing that to our uh, mixer and adding nothing to it. Pretty cool story. Next, we have the identical hi-hat. It's this Boominati hi-hat 4. How do you know it's identical? You don't really know, but it sounds so damn close that you can call it identical and it sounds a little bit like this. This hi-hat follows a basic two-step pattern and it slaps particularly hard because we're adding this plugin offered by Isotope. It's free, it's called Vocal Doubler and it, yeah, and it works. And you can hear this in the original audio. I'm not just going, well, oh, let's, let's add some random plugins. And this is most commonly used on vocals, but it works really well on some instruments such as hi-hats. So it's adding more voices. It works a little bit like Fruity Chorus, but it, works a little bit better. Next up, we have the clap and the snare, which you can both find inside this new Cymatic sample pack. Oh, and by the way, they're sponsoring this video and I don't normally take sponsors, but we made a really good deal where I only use their samples if they work the absolute best for a remake. So I went through all my samples and these ones match so damn well. You can find these samples really easily in the Cymatic's Ferro pack. We have the standard clap. Just look how similar this sample is to the actual song. Like you can actually see it in the waveforms. Then we have the identical snare. So just head into snares and it's the dominate snare. Then head into the audio clip and take the pitch up by one semitone, which is a hundred cents. And you cannot tell the difference between this and the original song. I barely even needed to add effects to them. On the snare, I added nothing. And on the clap, I added a tiny bit of wider. This plugin is great for stereoizing your sounds and this is free as well. So go ahead and download that. So far it's sounding like this. Then we have a second snare coming in, which once again, you can't tell the difference between this and the original song. This is the DY snare and it follows this pattern. We have the stomp from Jackboy's Gaddy making a reappearance. What's really interesting about this sound is we are heavily clipping it. Then we're taking the volume right down to 9%. So it still has that really heavy clipping effect. All it's doing is adding a crazy punch to the start of the song. Also, introducing this song, we have some gunshot sounds. Then for effects, we're adding some reverb, some distortion, adding this EQ, then increasing the transient or the punch of the sound using Transient Master. So these are the sounds. And they're all hitting at the same time to make what sounds like just one gun firing. And if you're watching this on your phone right now going, how do you make that crazy thing at the end of the sample where the tail fades away? It's really simple. Just head into the audio clip that you wanna add this effect to and then go to your de-clicking mode. I chose generic, which adds a little fade in and a little fade out. But for the other two gunshots, because I didn't wanna fade on the transient because that transient of the gun shooting is very important, go into your de-clicking mode and choose transient and that only creates a fade out. So it doesn't fade in, but it fades out nicely. Then we have this crash. Next up, we have the identical alarm sample. And that's just this free alarm that you can find on YouTube. It sounds like this. So this is what it sounds like so far. Next up, we have what you guys have been waiting for. Here we have the identical 808. And as always, you can tell it's the same by comparing the waveforms. It matches really nicely with the original song. This is what the 808 looks like at the start. Next up, head into your envelope settings and make this envelope by bringing up the decay to 38% and the decay tension to 33%. For effects on the 808, we're adding parametric EQ2 and we're automating band number seven. 
Then we're following up with two versions of Ozone 9 Exciter, which is like a frequency specific distortion plugin. And we're using triode distortion on anything above 600 Hertz. And we're also automating the mix of these plugins. Then since the 808 is in stereo, we're adding Ozone 9 Imager. We're stereoizing the sound using the Haas effect to 12.4 milliseconds. And this is affecting the frequencies above 90 Hertz. So anything below 90 Hertz is in mono, as you can see with band number one. Then as we move up in the frequency ranges from bass to mid to highs, we are increasing the stereo separation. So once we get to 2.1 kilohertz, the sound will be most stereoized. This is the before and after. And the way that the Haas effect stereoizes the sound is it will play that sound on one ear slightly before the other ear, which can give the effect of it being panned to one side. So if you listen to the song again and you hear the 808 being panned from right to left, that is because of the Haas effect. Then finally, one more EQ and that's it. Let's move on from the drums and the 808. We now have the first ambient sound coming in from Omnisphere. This is the Kaleo space, which you can find in the atmosphere library, and we're turning off the eerie mood. For effects, we're adding two versions of pitch wheel, one with the pitch brought up 12 semitones, and one with the pitch brought down 12 semitones. I know that sounds really counterproductive, and it would be if we didn't bring down the mix on both of these. So the first one is down to like 20, and then the second one is down to like 10. So this is what it sounds like without the effects, and then with the effects. So that's making the sound a bit bigger, so it's popping into different frequencies. Then we're EQing out the low ends, adding some flanges, some sound grizer, then some RC20 retro color, of course. So it's playing all together like this. Following that, we have another preset coming in from Omnisphere. This is the Angelo tube strings, and we're leaving it completely dry on the mixer. Then for the final preset, we have the identical preset. You'll see this used all the time through trap music. Songs that come to mind are Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar, Effing Problems by ASAP Rocky. I know Avicii used it all the time in his songs. This preset is in Zeta Plus 2. You can find it in sequences. It's the Crispy Arp C1, and it plays this pattern. And all together. That's everything I want to go through in this video. So if you want to support the channel and get some free samples, go ahead and download the Cymatics Pharo pack in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Boy.